Anxiety doesn't come from like right before going on stage. Like stage is actually what I'm least afraid of. Mm. I think like for me, my biggest fear is making mistakes. Welcome to Lip Roll. My name is Valerie Morehouse. I have a unique privilege to work with some of today's most influential and iconic voices. I hope to use this platform to share with you stories of my work and my experience from the field and in the studio as a celebrity vocal coach. This is a show where my guests and I are able to peel back the curtain and kind of bring you backstage and paint a picture of what it's like to be an artist, an actor, a broadcaster, and beyond while still confronting all the challenges of mental health, physical health, and spiritual health. Welcome to Lip Roll. The first time I met Noah was pretty interesting. Um, my friend and manager, Dan Dimtro, was working with her and called me up and said, I want you to meet my new client, Noah Cyrus. I remember that day very clearly. I don't know if you remember that day. Yeah, the day you came to my parents' house. Yeah. I had just signed to my management mm -hmm. and Dan was like, don't take this offensively because your voice is so beautiful. And I'm, I've always been like, no, it's not. Yeah. But, <laughs> but he was like, just so you're ready to perform, get stronger. Noah's got an interesting voice. I think that she's vocally very bionic when she's plugged in and she's doing her lessons and she's keeping herself healthy. It's not just doing our la dee -dahs and warming up and like, it's like therapy almost, and also just like another like mother figure on mm -hmm. the road with me. When you're backstage and it's live right before a show, it's very chaotic. There are people in the room, maybe family members and friends, um, maybe fans, they just finished a meet and greet. and I are working in her dressing room. She's getting her hair blown out. And it's really just the only time that we have to work on her vocals. It's been a struggle with you and I, like just rehabbing my vocals because I started getting really bad anxiety from it. Because I, is my voice ever gonna sound the same? Am I ever gonna get this muscle back? Am I ever gonna, and that's all I talk about with you. I cried the other day I, and I need to chill because like I'm not perfect. And actually I think the cool thing about seeing somebody perform live is to hear their imperfections. So we're at the Belasco Theater and Noah went up to sing her first song, Good Cry, and all of a sudden, Nolan, her MD, loses tracks. There's nothing playing except drums. She's still gotta sing live and perform, and he's trying to get both computers back up frantically. really impressed that Noah is able to sing that song without tracks. And that could be a make or break moment for an artist. I'm really proud of her. I definitely have to have an experience to write about, like a fresh new experience or something that's been weighing on me for a while. 
like whenever I go in, I usually already have a song title that I've thought of. Mm -hmm. What July is about, it's like, I'm afraid of change. I think that relationship, it was always back and forth. Like he wanted me, he didn't want me. I was good enough, I wasn't good enough. And more times than not, I was told that I wasn't good enough. And like what I'm so used to is us doing this every single day. And I rely on you, I come home to you, I don't, once you're gone, I'm gonna be alone. Like there was so much fear of letting that go that I felt like I was just like trapped in this cycle. Um, and that's what July is about really. Who inspires you? I would definitely say uh, my dad inspires me the most of like any artist. I think just because he, I wouldn't be an artist if it wasn't for him because I know like obviously everybody says I do it because my sister and all of this stuff but like really my dad's the one who taught me how to sing. My dad's the one that made it fun for me. How being a Cyrus related to your family has it been more difficult for you? Yeah I actually think people that say that I've made it because I'm a Cyrus are actually like the most like stupid people because like it actually makes it 10 times fucking harder. Right. Um, with comparisons. Honestly, people, I would have much rather started out as a brand new artist. Noah represents this new generation of artists that are not afraid to talk about their pressure, their anxieties, their fears, body dysmorphia, body shaming. And I really believe that she is going to help reconcile these problems with young girls and, and boys and teens. And artists like Noah are talking about her struggles and they're making other people feel like they're not alone. And I'm very impressed with the way she's able to be honest about it but at the same time, she's able to balance her career as well. There's also a lot of people that see people, quote unquote, famous, quote unquote, celebrity <laughs> people, not as humans. So they don't think we really have feelings or because we may not see their comment that it doesn't mean anything. It's the same thing as bullying a kid in school. There's no difference. Mm -hmm. And all these people who I don't know were installing ideas of what I looked like or what I should look like and what I don't look like into my head mm -hmm. by the time I was eight years old. And so now I have all this, it, I, I struggle with body dysmorphia. I struggle with depression. I struggle with anxiety, um, all of that. And I think a lot of that comes from what happened at an early age of being just thrown into this so early. When you have depression, anxiety, it's easy to, for me, shut my blackout curtains, stay in my room in the dark with my TV on with my dog and shut the world out. But lately I've been able to look past that, go to a gym, go to a boxing class, go to whatever it is that I need to do to just stay active and not sit at home and mm -hmm. mentally rev myself spin. up. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah. spin Yeah, in my fight or flight mode, we call it. <laughs> The struggles that Noah faces now will always be there. She's always gonna struggle with the haters, people who don't like the way she dresses or talks or looks, maybe doesn't like a song that she's putting out. But I believe that if she keeps continuing to surround herself by people that love her and support her and have her highest good, she'll be able to persevere through all of those. What motivates me the most with my work is proving people that I'm not just some family name. And so when I wake up in the morning and I'm like thinking about like, oh, my depression's getting me down, I can't get out of bed today. I'm like, this is just another thing for you to step forward. And like, that's, that's what motivates me the most actually is getting my own name. My favorite thing to do is like the yeah 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 because that I'm not gonna do it on here, guys. I will <laughs> oh darn it! <laughs> uh, if Val has her piano, and, uh, but quick, guys, give me a keyboard. <laughs>